my scrappy friends. I am working on some Project Life and get this, it is not Project Life from 2018. <laughs> so this is Project Life from this year, 2020. And I thought that this might be kind of fun to share this week because this is the week, or I should say this is half of a spread. So it's not really the full spread. Um, so I will try to share pictures later of the rest of the spread. I know in this, I think I just have the pictures from the one side. But anyway, um, if I ended up getting pictures before I post this, I'll make sure I add them. So anyway, um, yeah, so I'm doing Project Life from 2020 and I am in March. I am on March 11th or week 11. And so this is the week from... March 8th to March 14th. So I am working on the second half of the week, which had the 12th, the 13th, the 14th. Gosh, it had a lot of stuff. So this picture right here that you see me doing, I'm taking and I'm taking all the cards that pictures that I have and do three by four cards. I actually am going to have four photos in the middle and that's pretty rare for me to have all four photos. Like I usually try to only do two three by fours or three sometimes. It's hardly ever that I have four, but I had four this week because I had a screenshot. So one thing I do like to do and I don't do it as often as I should because, you know, a lot of times it's just not thinking about it in the moment. And then later on, I'm like, oh, and then I'm already working on my project life. So anyway, so you, those are the, the four photos. So I'm just taking these photos. This photo is from the 14th. Uh, it was snowing like crazy that week. So the second half of the week. And let me tell you, on the 12th, it was really nice because we were walking around and, you know, we were at the store and it was sunny and warm. And then next thing you know, the 13th, it snows and the 14th, it snows. So this was on our, that picture there is from the 13th. So that's the first day it snowed major, like I say major, this is major for wa where I live, Pacific Northwest, Washington. We do not get that much snow. We had quite a bit of snow, I feel like, last year. And this year, we had a couple of groupings of snow like this, where, you know, you get, like, a dusting to a half an inch, I guess is what you would call it. But that's pretty rare for us. <laughs> so definitely had to document it because it was just crazy, right? It's just crazy when we get this much snow. So... I really, for like this card, I'm not going to do much. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. So I edit this too, you know. <laughs> so I try to take out time when I'm not doing stuff, but that's okay. So I just trimmed it down. When I print, now, so I print my photos off at home, if you guys don't know, for the most part. Sometimes I'll have them out, but most of the time I print them off. So because I do that, I usually can change a little bit the sizing and one thing I've been noticing is I like to have that white border from the cardstock. So, yeah. But, of course, you know, the protectors don't fit true 3 by 4 so I had to cut it down a little bit. Now, on the one where you see all the way at the end uh, with the road, so that we took on our way to the store on the 14th because we went to the supermarket all together because stuff was getting shut down and closed up and we were getting locked in. I say locked in. We technically it's called a stay at home order, but, uh, which we're still going through by the way. Uh, my County, we are still in phase one. I think we applied for phase two. I don't think they're going to let us get out of phase two just with everything that's going on. But anyway, so we decided to do our major grocery shopping because we do two grocery shoppings a month anyway. So every other week we go and get stuff. But on the 12th, so I was looking for toilet paper and paper towels because, um, you know, we had to make sure we had some because we were almost out. So we usually go to Costco's and Costco's had started to get busy. So, um, yeah, 
Uh, and the week after when we went to Costco's, there was nothing. So I seen toilet paper and I was hearing other places running out of toilet paper. So I wanted to make sure that I got some. And we were able to that day on the 12th. There actually was a decent amount of stuff. So, but I was worried because the next day, that Friday, everywhere else was freaking out. So when we went shopping, we all went together just so that, and I'm glad we all went out because that was the last time we have all, we all went out all together for like ever, right? So, except for like car rides. Um, I think we've taken the kids one other time recently to one of our small local stores just to grab something real quick and then go. But anyway, so... Yeah, so I'm working on this other card that's going to be the journaling card. And so I'm taking that punched uh, snowflake that I had in my stash just from working on Christmassy stuff. <laughs> and I'm using some of this vellum. And uh, I was trying to, and I know I didn't show it probably too well because it took me forever. But I was trying to get that star, that paper had like stars on it, that vellum. And I was trying to get as much of that in there, but like it wasn't, it was really hard to get a lot of them in there. So that's okay. So I'm cutting white cardstock because I'm going to use this as the background for the journaling next to the pictures and stuff. Because like I said, because I have all four pictures, my journaling has to be done on, on these kinds of cards so that uh, I can tell the story of the pictures, but I really wanted to make sure that I told the story of all the snow because we don't get that much snow and it was crazy. It snowed two days in a row and each day we had a decent amount of snow. Of course, by the 14th in the afternoon, it started raining again, which is normal. But so I took that Christmas tree paper. I thought that was perfect for the picture because going down the street, I mean, we live in Washington. It's the evergreen state. So there's evergreens all over. So, but it worked really well because with the snow on there, I just felt like it worked. <laughs> it was like one last time to use this paper for, you know, the season and then I'll have to put it away and use it for Christmassy stuff next year, right? So, so now I'm working on the second card that I'm going to use for journaling. And once again, I'm using white card sock. It's just basic you know, American crafts. This one is actually the textured one, which is not my favorite, but I have some. It's sometimes easier to get a hold of and cheaper. So, you know, for this kind of thing, it doesn't, it's not too big of a deal. If you flip it over so it's not the textured side, it's a little bit easier to write on. It's not that big of a deal though. I did add some snowflakes up to the top. Those, uh, they're like the clear ones. And I liked how that turned out too. I think I add uh, a little thing. Yeah, I'm going to work, go, where do I put this? You know, I worked, I played with it and then I just left it. At that point, I was like, I think I just need to leave it. And it says it's really cold. So it was cold and crazy. And so this other card, I'm going to put like just a couple little small things and it's going to be done because mostly I just want to use it for doing some journaling. So sometimes I will print off cards to use and I decided pretty much for this spread, this half of the spread, to just use cards that I didn't print off myself. And um, I like that I can, you know, use papers that coordinate but aren't like all together. So <laughs> And that little arrow says, or banner says, be strong. So, and on that side, I will use for the journaling just to talk about how crazy it is, you know, with COVID and everything shut down super fast in our area. So that one card that you see in the middle with that, I just put that um, gray puffy sticker. It says so unexpected. And that just said that was when um, the governor declared that they were going to close schools down and large gatherings. So yeah. So that was the beginning of our little fun story here in Washington. And I definitely want, thought it would be fun to share that because it's just been a crazy ride here. <laughs> 
And who knew it would be crazier, right? So I'm glad that I was able to print that, like, get those pieces from the newspaper, you know, and just screenshot it and stuff. It didn't even have to be a whole thing. But I feel like this will be super fun to look back, you know, in 10 years, 20 years, and all that fun stuff. So this is the first half. Like I said, there'll be pictures. And I hope you guys enjoy this. And I can't wait to see you guys and show you guys more of my project life. Bye.